Hello, this is Major Clanger for Gonzo Airsoft. You join me today at the Scottish Airsoft Centre. This place used to be called Asylum and uh, that closed down uh, last year and has recently been reopened. Uh, the site itself is uh, uh, quite a large site set over a large set of uh, what uh, I suspect might be old farm buildings or uh, ex-industrial buildings and the site's focus quite a lot is on close combat or close quarters fighting something that I hadn't experienced at all having spent all my day, uh, previous airsoft combat at uh, Land Warrior and uh, the Wood Games and you can see there my newbish mistakes creeping in uh, not checking my six and getting hit in the back this footage was the first game of the day uh, it was a Wednesday game now there's only actually a handful of us on site there's uh, five of us in total and the uh, game that we're playing here is um, I'm on a team of two myself and Russ uh, versus a team of three uh, we have three lives the opposing team have two lives apiece we need to get into this building find a an objective which uh, in this case happens to be a decapitated Santa uh, we need to take that back to our deployment zone as this is my very first game here I haven't got a blooming clue where I'm going. Keen not to get shot in the back again. Keep checking around, checking my six. Like I say, this is a very different sort of discipline required to woodland games. You can see the sun's just beginning to set. This is an evening game. We started playing probably about half past eight in the evening in Scotland here at around this time. And this happened to be the day before the longest uh, day. You get some good sunlight right until the end. So it's an incoming shot which I was very lucky it deflected off the plastic that's hanging down in the doorway. Now I realise that my shots aren't going to get through that plastic either so time to get out the blank fire and grenade. And that does the trick. The sight rules are that it has to be a 9mm cartridge uh, but indoors that's more than enough. I think that scared the crap out of the guy that I'd thrown that at. Still looking around, I have no idea where this objective is we're looking for. On reflection, I actually feel a little bad about that kill. Uh, I hadn't realized that he was literally just coming back out of his spawn. Uh, if I'd known the site a bit better, I perhaps would have let him come through. But uh, I'll put my hands up and say that's probably it was probably a little bit rough on his part. Okay, so there's Russ. And he's telling me that he's spotted Russell that? out round the side and suggested I head round and see if I can flank him. So 
a bit of smoke there. I'm not sure what's been going on there. As I pop my head round, I spot Russell. You got me, but I think I got you first. Get off a single shot which clips his shoulder. I'll let you decide whether that was luck or skill. <laughs> you got lives left. Right. I've hit him, he's going back to respawn when you find Santa. I've hit him, he's respawning. So we can find Santa and get him out. So we're still looking for this blooming objective. But I take this opportunity to retrieve my uh, grenade. That this thing, that grenade actually served me very well on this game day. Uh, actually, much more useful than it is on the uh, my usual site uh, because of the uh, close confined battles and the, the fights. The ability just to lob a grenade through and clear a room is very, very valuable. So I've taken a sh I've taken a hit from an area that I didn't even realize existed. There was a little tunnel to the, the left hand side there, and a, a well aimed shot take me out. So I'm now on my last life. Panicky moment there, but I realize that that's uh, Russ. So we meet up. And I let them know that we've got the rough, rough position. So a quick conflag. I'm sent right. Well, Russ is going to head up the middle. We're going to try and take them in a bit of a pincer movement. So skills I'm going to need to learn if I'm going to become any good at this site. I'm going to need to work out how you get in and out of doorways. I'm going to need to definitely practice my room movement and clearing. as you see there a rookie mistake I've taken a hit as I poke my head in through that door on the right hand side uh, was Russell I had a and he quietly whispered in my ear take you hit and I was more than happy to do that I didn't fancy being shot at that close range that's Major Clanger out <laughs> 